Notice it's a bit dusty out there today. This is blowing from a dust storm out west. It's going through Lubbock. It, this is it going through Lubbock on Sunday. You can tell just how bad the visibility is. You can't even see past the trees in the neighbor's yard. And this is really what we're seeing now go through our area. I know that I don't even know if this is kind of it. Maybe this is just whatever, but you have an amazing picture of it. Yes. And you can see it like in the middle of the horizon. Right, the camera that I'm about to show you is actually elevated. So you can see the plume kind of settled a little lower. Uh, but this morning it was causing visibility Th issues for us. That's crazy. Yes, and also causing air quality issues. Ooh. So if you are sensitive to some mm. uh, dust, definitely make sure to, to limit your time outdoors. If you're thinking about doing that long run outdoors, I'm highly suggesting against it, even though it looks beautiful outside. Uh, this dust could really get to you. Okay, so this is Cedar Hill right now, 65 degrees, but you can see that dense plume of dust kind of just settling in and a very big contrast from what we're seeing above that, which is sunshine. Our winds are a lot lighter, so chances are this is just going to kind of hang out in our air for the remainder of the day. The air quality is much worse the more west you go. Lubbock, that's where they're dealing with unhealthy air quality. But for Dallas Fort Worth, along I-35, you see the yellow there. That's one step below good air quality. It's considered moderate, not ideal if you do have some sensitive respiratory issues. Here is a look from satellite as that dust plume is just pushing into West Texas. Eventually, the high winds there carried it into North Texas as winds that we saw overnight topped out at about 45 to 55 miles per hour. West Texas, however, 75 plus mile per hour wind speeds. That's what helped it make it all the way to North Texas. Now our winds are calming 65 degrees right now. Our winds are out of the west, still helping push in some of this dust at about 13 miles per hour. A few of the wind gusts within the last hour have ranged between 15 to 25 miles per hour. And again, much lighter than what we experienced last night. And I'm expecting the winds to keep calming as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. High temperature today still makes it to 75 degrees. Keep in mind, we're still seeing the sunshine 76 in Fort Worth. Winds are going to be out of the west. That's helping bring in some of the warmth 80 degrees for Eastland Breckenridge. So our area south and west of the area will still climb a little bit higher on the temperature charts, not just today, but tomorrow as well, because that's where we find our driest air and our drier air is what warms up much quicker. We're going to have the low 80s again across the Metroplex as early as tomorrow afternoon. A few locations still hanging out in the mid to upper 70s across our northeastern counties for Tuesday. So again, the heat today and tomorrow, we still see the mid 70s Wednesday and Thursday, but the reason it won't be as warm is because we do have rain in the forecast for Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday evening is when we have that front coming through and then it, we cool down into the 50s on Friday. Our severe weather outlook, marginal risk for areas mainly east of the Metroplex on Wednesday. But Thursday is when I really want you to be paying attention. That's when the front comes in, and that's when we have the risk for seeing some strong to severe storms along and east of I-35. The main concern will be the strong winds, also the potential for quarter-sized hail, not ruling out the potential for isolated tornadoes come Thursday afternoon. So here's what it'll look like. We have this warm front pushing north, and this will happen through Thursday morning, at least behind a warm and moist air mass. Then a front comes in Thursday afternoon. It'll interact with that moisture. This is Thursday around six, and you can see some of the stronger storms kind of building there along I-35, and then we'll continue to see this progress uh, into the late evening. By midnight, I think a lot of the severe threat will be out, some lingering showers, and then Friday will be completely dry with sunshine highs in the 50s. So a lot of changes here in the next few days. Keep checking back in with us because the timing of the storms will change and we'll also likely see a better, more well-defined area to concentrate on. Be sure to keep checking back, WFAA.com as well. We'll be back.